Let's begin this morning with the trial of former Trump White House advisor Steve Bannon. Opening statements are expected to get underway today. Bannon is in court and is facing contempt of Congress charges linked to the January 6th committee's investigation. In September, lawmakers issued a subpoena for him to appear, but he refused, citing executive privilege. For more on the trial, let's bring in Scott McFarlane, who's in Washington. Scott, Bannon's legal team pushed to get this trial delayed, uh, arguing that publicity from the January 6th committee hearings would prevent a fair jury. I know that in the report that you filed earlier on CBS Mornings, uh, some of the jurors said, hey, I had no idea who Steve Bannon was. So, uh, <laughs> that was so surprising to I, me. It wasn't surprising to me. Because they live in the D.C. area. I know, but I think that if you and, 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 and Scott, you can talk about this. I, I, don't, I think if you're not following every single detail right. like the way we are in the media yeah. or perhaps people who live their entire lives on social media, you're raising your family, you're going to work, you're doing the things, you're bringing the kids to soccer yeah. practice. Steve Bannon, he's not like he did a lot of interviews, right? Like no, uh, Kaylee McEnany or somebody that's who's true. more visible in the former Trump administration. So what did the judge determine, Scott, ultimately? Um, and what did the jurors have to say? Uh, Bannon's defense lawyers, Vlad, were so emphatic about this, multiple times arguing all these committee hearings on television, all of the news coverage of Steve Bannon would be inflammatory and make it impossible to find an unbiased jury. Then we watched jury selection all day yesterday. It resumed this morning. And we hear juror after juror saying, I've never heard of Steve Bannon um, and never watched any of the January 6th committee hearings. So they didn't have much trouble finding a couple dozen prospective jurors that both sides, the prosecutors and Bannon's defense attorneys, were comfortable with. They conclude jury selection this morning. Opening statements happen today. The trial will proceed, and it won't be long. There's very limited arguments permitted for Bannon's defense. He can argue he didn't understand or didn't appreciate the significance of the deadline on the subpoena he was issued, October 7, 2021. The judge has precluded pretty much all other defenses. What Bannon will argue is that he thought the date was flexible or fungible. So we're in store for a very short trial, likely to wrap up this week. So there's uh, another person that has sort of bubbled up with this investigation has been the producer of this documentary um, that followed Donald Trump and his eldest children around during sort of the last days of his presidency. Mike Pence's former chief of staff, Mark Short, spoke exclusively to Catherine Herridge last week on CBS News about that Trump documentary produced by the British filmmaker. His name is Alex Holder. I want to play a little bit of that sound. In a recent documentary, you see former Vice President Pence being handed a phone, and he says, yeah, excellent, print me out a hard copy. You were there at that interview. What happened? Well, Catherine, I think it's an incredibly disingenuous a portrayal, and I certainly hope the January 6th committee does not rely upon this documentary based upon that one clip. Uh, because what's happening is that Devin O'Malley is handing the vice president his phone to show him confirmation of that receipt of the letter I just mentioned, the receipt of the vice president's letter to Speaker Pelosi, members of Congress, about the 25th Amendment and why he was in no way interested in invoking that. And instead, what the clip shows is it shows him responding, excellent, that his letter's received, but the documentarian portrays that as him proclaiming excellent that Speaker Pelosi is moving forward with a vote to encourage the administration to invoke the 25th Amendment, which is incredibly disingenuous. And perhaps as a British filmmaker, he just didn't know. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. So a spokesperson for Pence, as, as well as the filmmaker, Alex Holder, uh, they issued statements uh, to CBS News. What are they saying? Dueling statements, really conflicting statements. Holder, Alex Holder, this documentarian, is saying that his team saw what it saw on January 12th, 2021, that the former vice president was reading some resolution to invoke potentially the 25th Amendment, a resolution offered by U.S. House Democrats. And you hear the Pence team saying that's not true, that the timing doesn't line up in that story either. All of this is significant as a prelude to Thursday, when the committee has its next primetime hearing, in which it is expected to show what President Trump was doing and not doing during the Capitol attack. It's quite possible the committee, which has not only obtained an interview with documentarian Alex Holder, but footage he'd gathered, it's very possible the committee shows or synthesizes some of that video into their presentation Thursday. That's why this back and forth between the former vice president's team and Holder is important, because it could, could undermine some of what the committee tries to achieve with Holder's footage Thursday night. Mm -hmm. 
Scott, the committee expects to get reportedly deleted Secret Service texts from January 5th and 6th by today. Will the agency meet the deadline? The agency says it is setting itself up to meet the deadline. The deadline is today from the January 6th committee. They subpoenaed those messages from the Secret Service on those pivotal days, January 5th, January 6th. They issued the subpoena very late Friday night with a very short turnaround of Tuesday. Now, the internal auditor that reviews the U.S. Secret Service had indicated, in fact, had said those messages were deleted from Secret Service phones after they were requested by the internal auditor. The Secret Service has had a dispute with that issue, so now the committee wants to see it for themselves. So they will find out today, likely, how many of those messages were preserved, saved, or retrieved by the Secret Service. So we've heard some incredible testimony at uh, some of these hearings, and now we got a prime time one coming up. Mm. Uh, two former Trump aides are going to testify. These are two individuals that resigned following the January 6th attack. If the committee wants to go prime time, I'm assuming they think that they're going to provide some testimony that they want Americans to hear. What do we know about these two people? Yeah, it's a statement, isn't it, Anne-Marie, when they want to have this in prime time all across America? It's a statement from the committee. They think they have something that will particularly resonate. The two witnesses that CBS News has confirmed for Thursday night, a man named Matt Pottinger and a woman named Sarah Matthews. Pottinger was the deputy national security advisor. Matthews was a deputy White House press secretary under former President Trump. Both were working for the White House, Pottinger in the White House, January 6, 2021. If the committee is going to make a case, as they say they are, that Donald Trump engaged in dereliction of duty during the U.S. Capitol attack, an eyewitness like Pottinger, who was on the grounds on January 6, could be pivotal and could amplify their argument. We'll find out how they use these witnesses when the hearing begins, because if past is prologue for this committee, the witnesses, Cassidy Hutchinson aside, the witnesses tend to be in the latter half of the hearing mm. in a question and answer format near the backside. Let's see if it's different. Let's see if it fits the format of Cassidy Hutchinson, where the hearing was about her and what she had to say. That's what we want to watch for over the next 48 hours. Well, either way, you know it's bound to be fascinating. That's it's true. been riveting thus far. Scott, thank you very much.